Today, Sir Ronald will be joining us to speak about his book on entrepreneurship, Second Bounce of the Ball, Turning the Risk into Opportunity, which has actually been translated into various languages, including Hebrew, and, um, and his wealth of experience in business finance in his life.
of our firm, and, um, and uh, in those days, 1981, a £10 million pound fund, the largest venture capital fund raised in Europe at uh, that time, same time as Advent International, who raised also £10 million. Pounds. And uh, from 1981 onwards, we had the stream of uh, revenues that came from managing uh, venture capital funds, and of course, 20% of the game, which is what I was able to build uh, my wealth, and many of my partners were able to, to do the same uh, on. And I spent basically 33 years uh, working as an entrepreneur and backing entrepreneurs. And I've given you all of this background because the first thing that you have to learn to cope with if you're going to be an entrepreneur is risk. And risk is not a four-letter word. It really isn't a four-letter word. It isn't a four-letter word in the sense that if you uh, want to make a success out of an opportunity, a spectacular success out of an opportunity, or a great success out of an opportunity, then you cannot do it in situations of certainty. The word risk has a negative connotation for a very simple reason. It comes from an Italian word which meant to run into danger. So if I say to any of you, do you want to take a risk? You'd say, why would I want to take a risk? It's negative. Why would I want to run into danger? But if I frame the question differently and say, would you like to have a great success by taking advantage of uncertainty, then you'll begin to think. And that is the first basic lesson uh, that I learned. Situations of certainty do not give you the scope for making a significant profit. So you have to seek out, not avoid, situations of uncertainty when you think about a venture. You can only get inordinately high profits if very few people are trying to do the same thing. And if you manage to develop a competitive advantage over them in doing it, and so you need to begin to like uncertainty. You need to be capable of exploiting it. You need to view it as your friend. You need to view it as the indicator of whether or not you're likely to be able to make a significant profit out of an opportunity. Instead of the conditioned reflex of saying, you know what, this is too uncertain. I don't want to do this. It's too risky. And of course, you do get situations which, after you've analyzed them, turn out to be so uncertain that you don't want to touch them with a barge pole. It happens all the time. But it's not by avoiding looking at those situations that you're going to connect with a great opportunity. So the essence of entrepreneurship is exploiting uncertainty.